Hey, let me show you how I easily made a VR game using AI. I opened ChatGPT and asked it if it can help me create a VR game using the Unity software. And it provided a list of steps that I could follow to set up my Unity project for VR. But it was using the Google's VR package, which was different from what I wanted. So I specified that I wanted to use the XR Interaction Toolkit package instead and it generated a new list of steps. But the steps provided were not sufficient to complete the setup. However, I was able to find a free base project that had already been set up for VR using the XR ITK package, which included a sample scene with all the controls and locomotion setup. I decided to use this project instead and I will leave a link for this in the description as well. And now I was ready to start with the game development. First, I wanted a script that will allow the players to shoot bullets, but the script generated by AI used the generic input system. So, I asked it to update the script to use the input action reference instead. Then, I copied the code into a script in Unity, created the bullet prefabs, added the components, and tested it. Next, I generated a script that will make the enemies follow the player. I created a temporary enemy object to test the script, and as you can see, it did not go well. So, after not one, not two, not three, but four updates later, I finally got it to work in the way I wanted it to. Now it was time for the enemies to shoot the player once it gets close to it, but that was not what I meant. I wanted it to shoot at a rate set by me. This time when I went back to chat GPT, for some reason the whole script would not load. I tried to regenerate the script several times, but it did not happen. So considering this as an exception, I copied only the part of the code that had changed and updated my script. Up to this point, I had a player that could shoot and an enemy that would follow the player and shoot it when it got too close. Then I generated scripts to manage the player's health, manage the enemy's health, apply bullet damage on enemies at random location and update the kill count and display it on a canvas. Now with most of the scripts ready, it was time for me to add the assets and set up the scene. So I decided to use chicken as my enemies and I also downloaded some audio for them. It made sense for the chicken to shoot some protein and so that's why the egg. Then I added the required scripts and tested the game. While testing, I realized there are some more things that are to be taken care of, like the game cycle, where the player has an option to either restart or quit the game, enemy life cycle, so when the player dies, all the enemies that are currently present have to be killed. Then the player life cycle, so when the player dies, he or she has to be presented with an option to either restart or quit the game. And finally, the bullet life cycle, the bullets were just piling up and were not getting destroyed when it collided with something. So I put chat GPT back to work and got the final scripts ready. Now all that was remaining for me was to finish setting up the scene. So here is a 10 second scene setup montage show you. And finally, the game is ready and this is how it looks like. So coming to the most important question here. Can you use AI to make VR games? Well, kind of. The scripts were not optimized, the codes were not up to the production level. So maybe you can use it for your prototyping or maybe you use it for debugging or maybe you can use it for your game jams as well. But yeah, ChatGPT did make the VR game for me. A fun fact, the thumbnail background that you saw was also done by using an AI. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, then please hit the like button and subscribe. It will help us to make more videos just for you. And as always, I will see you in the next one.